Today we're talking about the cohesive nature of water. Now a water molecule is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, or H2O, as is also called the chemical breakdown of it. And think about magnets. You have a positive and negative end of a, of a magnet and they come together, they're really strong, they're attracted to each other, so opposites attract. Same thing with water molecules, they're polarized, so the negative and positive uh, parts, they come together and take a, make a real strong bond. And you can see that looking at this glass of water. It's pretty full. Close up look, you can see it's definitely to the brim. And the cohesiveness of the water molecules is holding it together and kind of making a little rim up top. It's kind of the increased uh, surface tension. Incredible surface tension and strength of water molecules. Now, the question is, I have a, some stacks of quarters here. How many quarters can I put in this glass, which is filled with water before it spills over? That will test the cohesiveness of the water molecules. Now, I think I have 30 quarters, stacks of five, and this is a stack of 10. You think just in the volume displacement, you can't get between five and 10, that's the max, right? Well, let's find out. Let's slide the quarters in. That's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, eleven. It's coming, it's rolling back in the back side here. So, eleven quarters it took. And that's because the incredible, incredibly strong cohesive nature of these water molecules to create this surface tension. So even though you're displacing it, the volume keeps going higher and higher and higher, the molecules hold it together. Now the wind is blowing it over. The, the molecules hold it together so it doesn't spill over. Another quick trick or kind of, I guess you'd call it a trick you can do. Think about this paper clip. It has some weight to it, you drop it, you think, okay, I drop it in this glass of water, it's gonna to go to the bottom. Well, normally it would if I break the surface tension or if I can somehow kind of gently place it on here, it might just float. Let's see, slide that on here. And there you go. The paper clip is actually floating on the glass, on the water. And that's because we have not broken the surface tension of the water because the incredible cohesive nature of those H2O bonds, those water molecules.